welcome to my channel. So today we are going to look at the Teddy Coat made famous by Max Mara, the high-end brand. And guys, the dupe of this coat, it's everywhere. It's on Zara, it's on and other stories, it's on H&M, Mango. So I am going to spill the eco tea of this coat. Yes. And as usual, my channel is to inform and inspire. We are going to break down the fabric and of course, if it's your style, I can't blame you for wanting it. Trust me. Oh my God, guys. This coat, it looks chic. It looks fabulous. You look so expensive. Probably very warm because I have a couple coats made of similar fabric. But guys, I have to, I have to tell you, I have to spill the eco tea on this coat. And so, I am guilty of buying similar teddy coats. And as usual, I've looked in my wardrobe to see what I'm guilty of. And I found a couple. The first piece is this piece here, guys. This is a piece that was given to me from my friend in New York. And this piece, it's a waistcoat or a gilet. It is definitely similar to some of the pieces I've seen on Reese website and these are called gilets and guys the fabric is 100% synthetic wow Reese I'm shocked yes it's warm but do you want to know the fabric on this it's cotton and it's 35% cotton and 65 polyester as usual the lining is synthetic material why would they do that? Synthetic fibers are not biodegradable. I have said that over and over in my videos. They take sometimes up to 400 years to break down. My God, guys, that's a lot of time. And that's why it's so critical for you to really educate yourself about these things. And with mixed fibers when you mix a natural fiber with a synthetic fiber we both know or I am letting you know that when you mix fabrics it cannot be broken down when you mix fabric that creates another issue because if you mix a natural fiber let's say cotton the technology is not around Yes, guys, when you mix a natural fiber with a synthetic fiber, we don't have the technology available to separate them during the recycling process. Oh God, guys, this coat looks good. This looks good. So still, if I have to compare my gilet with those from Reese, mine's win because it has natural fibers in it. Shockingly, the one from Reese is all synthetic. The second piece in my closet is this piece, guys. And this is a gorgeous piece. And as I would show in my one of my upcoming videos, it's one of my favorite go-to winter coats. Very gorgeous. Just look at the fabric, guys. Look at this coat. You'll see more details of it later on. But this coat, guys, oh my God. Guys, I have worn this coat and I had no idea what the fabric was or is because I've never checked it. 65% acrylic and 35% polyester. Uh, in other words, 100% <laughs> synthetic fibers. So as you know guys, today I am sharing with you dupes 
for the Max Mara teddy bear icon coat. And this coat is just phenomenal. As you can see on the side, it comes in many colors. It comes in black, red, and that gorgeous camel color. But as you would see, this piece comprises of natural fibers. There's your silk, there's your viscose, there's your, it's, it's, guys, it's the real McCoy. It's the real deal and it's absolutely stunning. And of course, here you can see it in the red. Oh my God, gorgeous. It's the same fabrication as the tan, of course, makes absolute sense. And of course, it comes in the black as well. And yeah, really gorgeous piece. This is another coat that I found on Farfetched. And yes, it is a Max Mara coat. It's definitely more in line with the style of mine that you just saw previously so it has a hoodie just like mine and it's it's essentially a similar style but of course guys this coat for some reason the composition is 86 percent virgin wool 14% polyester, 69% acetate, 31% viscose. I don't understand why does it have polyester in it and it's so expensive. Next piece I have is this piece, guys. And this is a very similar piece like the piece you just saw. So I won't be surprised if it's also hundred percent synthetic gorgeous on I'm telling you absolutely gorgeous on I really enjoyed wearing these coats because they're long they're the ideal color I just love the way they pair with almost everything in my wardrobe and they are retro so I can pair them with my vintage stuff my 1970s vibe stuff, but I never knew the fabrics. So hearing the fabric composition was really shocking for me. This one, it is 100% polyester. As you would see guys, there is no shortage of the duplicate teddy coat online you can find it in full shelling you can find it in fleece almost every company has a version of the and our first stop is at H&M and H&M guys has a huge selection of the teddy coat on its website it comes in the default color, this gorgeous color here. And guys, it's made from fleece most of the times. It's made from polyester or some synthetic fiber. H&M did an excellent job in duplicating this. It is really, really a pretty piece and if you head over to mango it's no different it's it's the same everywhere you see the full fall you see the uh, full shelling and if you look at the fabric guys that's where you see the differences because most are polyester or acrylic oh my god guys it is a full crazy fleece world guys there's no disputing the fact that these coats are gorgeous but they are synthetic 
are they really worth your money look at the fabric composition of this one guys it's a hundred percent synthetic except for the little viscose they worth your two hundred dollars your four hundred dollars seriously it's the same fabric everywhere and it's even been targeted at children and I could really see some children growing up and being so upset and mad at their parents for having them wear synthetic fibers and if you head over to J Crew, it's no different and I am I am shocked just the same way I was shocked at Reese they all have polyester items in, in their inventory. They are selling you polyester fabric at exorbitant prices, guys. And like most of the companies that you are seeing here, Jekyll has a wide selection of these faux fur, faux shelling, fleece, and guys, sometimes they don't even spell out the whole word for polyester. And it's definitely another story over here because this is a company that values sustainability. It links to H&M, so I am assuming that it's a sister company of H&M. Like most of the websites shown here, it has various, it has many fleece of 4 4 items on its website and they come in different colors and guys yes as is the norm with these pieces they are gorgeous but if you look at the fabric again guys if you look at the fabric it's mainly synthetic materials that pink piece oh my god it's gorgeous I love it and on most of these sites they are best sellers they sell out like they are going like hot gluten free bread and you will notice in most instances the caring recommendation is to wash the fabric and that is one of the main issues that I will discuss with you later. This one is definitely the best seller because it's the closest one to the Max Mara Teddy Coat. As you can see, it's named similarly to it. It's the Faux Sherling Teddy Coat. And when you click on the detail section below, you would see the fabric composition which is mainly polyester. This was such an interesting research process for me because I, I really could not believe um, what my results are. It, it, it blows my mind, actually. I am actually so shocked and at the same time, not. And as you guys know, Zara is no stranger to creating dupes Zara is the king of dupes and for my male subscribers out there Zara has you covered as well you can find your full shirling your full fall your fleece you can find them on Zara the sad situation is like everywhere else it's a hundred percent polyester this fabric is definitely very similar to the second coat that I showed you and it's the same fabric, the same outer fabric as well as the same lining and it's a hundred polyester just like my coat. Looks absolutely gorgeous, expensive, chic but definitely not friendly to the earth and of course for you beautiful ladies out there 
Zara has you covered. Zara has your fleece, your shirling. Guys, it comes in all colors. Oh my God, look at the gray. Look at the animal print. And of course, it targets the kids. And the last piece in my wardrobe. And I know for those who are very ethical when it comes to animal rights, this is a gift that was given to me. As usual, all these pieces have been in my wardrobe for between 10 to 12 years now. And this is one of them. This is a piece that was given to me um, by a friend for one Christmas when I visited New York. And this is comprised, this portion of it is comprised of 100% rabbit fur. The sleeves and the waist pieces are made of acrylic and the lining is made of polyester it's no different for this particular piece there are there are many many examples online with similar fabric composition and as you guys know the animal print is fierce this season and this piece at j crew um is very close to the style that I just showed you but as you can see it's polyester and of course I headed over to Reese to look for a shorter version um, of the coat and guys I was very shocked to see the fabric composition as well and sadly, sadly, this piece is also polyester. Wow, it's synthetic fiber. It's 100% moda acrylic. The lining is 100% polyester. So guys, and it's, it's interesting that they said to dry clean this piece. It comes in different colors as well. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Look at this blue. It's a really beautiful piece. It's beautiful in terms of style and I am sure in terms of fit. But as we say, we are looking for fabric, fit and style. If they don't meet each other equally, there's no point in buying it. This is also a shorter version at Mango and it's the full shawling leather jacket and it's unbelievable guys. Look at the fabric. All these items are polyester. All of them. It begs the question, what the fleece is going on? Seriously, fleece? is not good for the environment yes guys that is the down low on these items actually it's the up high because when i say down low down low means i'm hiding it i'm keeping it um, a secret i don't want you to keep it a secret i want you to spread the word I want you to tell people what they're actually buying. As you know, guys, most of these items, yes, they're pretty, they're chic, you look great, and you, you may easily feel warmer, but what you need to know is that fleece is the number one fabric that is found in oceans and rivers. And do you know why? And how it got there it's because when you wash it it generates tons upon tons of microfibers if these are familiar to you they are microfibers and as you've seen these fibers are made from plastic polyester in case you didn't know is plastic it it's made from petrochemical from excessive heating 
and that's how you get the fabric. So when we wear polyester, we are actually wearing plastic. As I've said, it's it is plastic. There's no getting there's no getting around that. It is plastic, and we wear it almost every day. Well, I'm trying not to, but polyester is everywhere, guys. Most of us use or wear polyester every day. It's the material that you find in most yoga pants, our underwear, our stylish jackets and coats. Most of them, if you, if you check, if you're vigilant, you would see that most of them are polyester. Unfortunately, when we wash it, it's contributing to microplastic pollution in the environment oh my god guys and of course it's critical that we know since we have already bought them going forward what to do polyester is flammable if you let's say you have a fire in your house and you're rushing out and it's a cold minus 30 degrees day you have to grab a coat if you grab a polyester coat, you would catch fire on your way out of the door. If that doesn't scare you, if pollution doesn't scare you, think about that. I am so surprised that so many high-end companies are even inserting um, polyester into their brand. And yes, Zara, H&M, and other stories they are at maybe you could say at the forefront and that's how low the sustainable issue is right now because if Zara and H&M and, and other stories are at the forefront of environmental sustainability when it comes to fashion the bar is very low because you know what they advocate recycling and we don't have the technology today to really and truly recycle polyester the impact of the fashion industry is enormous on our environment and yes guys for companies to really make an impact on the environment they need to definitely change their business model and many of them do not want to do that they believe in fast fashion and as you guys know it's the whole model of fast fashion that contributes to such environmental impact despite the brave efforts for companies like Zara and H&M and, and other stories. I would not necessarily say that they are at the forefront of sustainability when it comes to fashion and reducing um, the fashion industry's footprint on the environment. I would say companies like Respect here in Montreal and there's a company called Pastagonia, it's an it's an outerwear company. I'll leave the name on the screen just in case I've just butchered that. But those are companies that, in my humble opinion, I find are at the forefront of sustainability. Sustainability is essentially not being harmful to the environment, not wasting its resources such as energy, water, etc. And it's essentially meeting our needs today by not compromising the needs of future generations. We are looking at the whole life cycle because it's only recently that polyester has replaced what I would consider a a little better um, synthetic fiber because it's made from wood pulp so it's a little better acetate 
it was mainly used for the linings of many, many, many items. But these days, everything is polyester. It definitely is the power behind the, the fast fashion industry because it's, it's cheap and companies love cheap and it's also it gives us that sense that if we buy cheap clothes are disposable and that is one reason you see so many people just get rid of their clothing items and because they pay cheaply for them they don't keep them they get bored of them easily because it's cheap but that's not the solution. The solution is to buy natural fibers as much as possible. And that's if you really have to buy. Reduce your consumption. You don't have to be always in the latest trends. Buy and invest wisely. No matter how cheap an item is, you don't necessarily have to buy it especially when it's made of synthetic fibers and I have shown you guys stuff that are so gorgeous and pretty that I have returned despite the fact that I love them there's so many items on the Zara website that I love right now and I'm a Zara girl at the same time it's essential for us to really take into consideration what we value more and yes i know for those that value um animal rights definitely go vegan but be sure that these items or your fabrics are biodegradable buy less synthetic stuff it depends on your priority what do you prioritize the most it's essential that we know these things. Think about that as, as you go forward in your shopping. I would leave the link to a video below that just walks you through what happens to the items that you donate to charity, that you resell on your various um, individual accounts, People, if they're not educated, they, they do whatever with whatever you donate, whatever you give to charity, whatever you resell, because they're not educated about these things. I strongly believe that if you consciously buy synthetic items, you're aware of whatever items you buy that you should you should deal with it yourself responsibly and not just send it off to somebody else so that they get your burden to deal with it. And that is what many companies are doing because in the case of recycling, as you would learn, what companies like H&M does, and I am not here to stop them from really trying to be sustainable. I absolutely applaud their efforts. We know that they are aware that they sell your recycling items, the items that you have donated to a middleman, which in turn send it to a faraway land. The companies already have them in their inventory. The most we can do is to beg them not to produce any more synthetic items. And going forward, we shouldn't buy more synthetic items we and really, really reconsider our shopping habits as we go forward for the coming year. It, I am just hoping that you, I could inspire you. That's all I am here to do. I don't want to project and push my belief system on you. But I hope that the information I provide in these videos would raise awareness and that you become more environmentally conscious when it comes to 
how often you buy what you buy remember first it's fabric then fit then style definitely hope you found this useful and i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys <laughs>